In this video, I want to talk about how to transform a data frame into time series data. Time series data refer to data that change over time. There are a lot of good examples of time series data in business. Can you think of some examples that are related to time? I think uh, stock price, population growth, sales revenues are all good examples of time series data. They all change over time. Being able to analyze stock price and performance is very important to a business analyst. So in the next few lectures, I want to show you how to analyze stock price, this time series data. Some classmates may say, Professor, I'm not going to work in the investment banks. Do I still need to know the stock analysis? The answer is definitely a yes. Let's say you work for Apple. The company claims that it is a company that has the most cash in the world. As an outstanding business analyst, you want to think about how to use the available cash and invest in the stock market smartly so that the company can get more cash. Using cash to get more cash will be a wonderful skill to have, no matter where you work in the future. In this video, let's see how to upload a data set into the Jupyter system and then transform the data frame into a time series data set. I want to use Yahoo Finance to get the stock price data. Certainly, there are a lot of other places where you can get the stock price data from. Yahoo Finance is one of the most popular websites. Let's go to this website. In the top search bar, you can search some uh, stock symbol ticker. Let's say you want to search for uh, stock price for Facebook. The ticker for Facebook stock is FB. And then you type in FB and then you can go to the website. But uh, I found uh, Berkshire Hathaway just had the 2017 annual meeting. So let's use this company as an example. You have probably never heard about uh, Berkshire Hathaway, but uh, I'm sure you are familiar to the chairman of this company, Warren Buffett. He's either number one or number two richest person in the world. The only person in the world can compete with him is his good friend, Bill Gates, the founder of uh, Microsoft. These two companies have been so influential to IT and the stock industry. Let's use Berkshire Hathaway as an example. In the top search bar, let's type in Berkshire Hathaway. And then you will see class A and class B stocks for this company. The reason we have uh, two types of stocks for this company is Berkshire Hathaway class A stocks are too expensive. Not every investor is able to or have the privilege to invest in the class A stock. So Mr. Buffett created the class B stocks for this company so that every Joe investors are able to invest in Berkshire Hathaway or get a chance to invest in this company. How expensive the class A stock is? Let's take a look. Let's click uh, BRK-A. Yes, you are seeing it correctly. It is $245,220 per share for Class A stocks of uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Now imagine this stock increases or decreases by just 1%. That will be over $2,000 profit or loss for an investor. This is a very expensive stock. Once you open this page, click uh, historical data. And then we can download the historical data about uh, this stock. You can change the time period. You can set up the time period from which you retrieve the historical data. You can also get uh, the daily data, weekly data, or monthly data. Let me just keep the original setup. We want to download uh, the stock price for this company over 20-day period. 
and then click uh, download data. I'm using uh, Firefox, so I'm able to select where I can save the data. If you are using Chrome or Internet Explorer, this CSV file is very likely to be downloaded into the downloads folder on your computer. No matter where you want to save it, click uh, OK to download this dataset onto your computer. Let me use the desktop, it's easier to find this file. Click save to save this dataset. And then let's open try.jupyter.org. Then click uh, datasets folder, this folder, datasets. And then another datasets. And then click uh, upload. And then find the file you just uh, downloaded from uh, Yahoo Finance. Click open and uh, then click uh, upload. Make sure this file is uploaded to the Jupyter system. This is the file, brk-a. And then let's click uh, Jupyter icon. And then click uh, Welcome to Python, this one. Let's click uh, the plus sign to create uh, a new script cell. Then we want to do import pandas as pd. These are just uh, some routines, right, in the future. We are very familiar to this already. We need to import the source data as a data frame into our analysis. Let's create a variable to hold this data frame. Let's call this bkstock equals to pd.read underscore csv parentheses and then double quotes between double quotes let's type in data sets slash data sets slash brk dash a dot csv and then let's uh, click uh, bk stock and then click uh, the round cell button to take a look at the data frame this is the current data frame, right? It has a date, open price, high price, low price, close price, uh, the share being traded, how many shares being traded every day. This is the daily stock performance over 20 day period. Look at the first column. The first column, these are called the index. These are the ID number for each row, right? First row has ID number 0, second row has ID number 1, and so on and so forth. But since this is time series data, we already know the stock price and the volume being traded for every day. It will be better if we can use date as the indexes for each row, right? How can we use, how can we transform date, this column, into the indexes for this data frame. This is what we want to do. Let's go back to the read underscore CF CSV statement. After the double quotes, let's type in a comma and then type in pass P A R S E underscore dates. Pass means analyze. It's a, a computer science way of saying analyze. Pass underscore dates equals to true. Notice that T in uppercase. R-U-E are in lowercase. That means we want to look at the current data frame and then analyze which column is likely to hold date data. And then another comma and then type in index underscore C-O-L equals to zero. What does this mean? This means in the current data frame, we want to use the first column as the date column. And also we want to analyze the date column, use it as an index. index. As I told you in the previous lecture, first column has the column position zero, right? By doing this, we can tell the Jupyter system. The first column in our data set is a date column. It has date data, years, days, months, and so on. And then we want to analyze the date column. And then we want to use this date column as an index for this data frame. 
not 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 anymore. Okay, this is the change we want, we want to make. This is how you transform a regular data frame into a time series data frame. Let's click uh, the run cell button to take a look. You see, now the indexes are not 0, 1, 2, 3 anymore, but uh, the dates for the stock prices. And also you notice that the date is not as high as open, high, low, close, these titles anymore. Date is one cell below the original titles. This means date, this column is being used as an index, the ID numbers for each row of stock prices. Now we have successfully transformed a data frame into a time series data frame. In the future, if you have a sales time series data, population growth time series data, you can use the same technique to transform the regular data frame into time series data frame. Now I want to show you something cool. We want to visualize the stock price data. Let's say we want to draw a chart to show the 20-day close prices for Berkshire Hathaway. Let's do this. After BK stock, let's type in square brackets, two double quotes, and then type in close. This means what? This means we want to access to all data under the close column, right? This is what we learned. And then after the uh, square bracket, let's type in dot plot plot, and then parentheses. This means we want to draw a chart to show all uh, close prices for this company over a 20 day period. Click uh, the run sale button. And then you can visualize the stock price, the close stock price for this company. Very cool, right?